Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Aces Go Places 2, also known as Mad Mission 2, a Hong Kong action comedy from 1983 that is a sequel, of course, to the first film. Samuel Hui, Carl Maka, and Sylvia Chang return, as does Eric Sang in the director's chair. The first film must have been a hit, because we got a sequel one year later, so they they started churning these out, all right? Burglar King Kong, as they call him, played by Sam Hui, and his friend Baldy, played by Carl Maka, who is a police detective, joined forces again after being framed for robbery. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a notorious European mobster named Black Gloves, who wants revenge for the death of White Gloves from the last film. And this unlikely duo are supervised by Baldi's fiance Nancy Ho, played by Sylvia Chang, a fiery-tempered policewoman who helps them as they are chased by the bad guys. Now, I have to give Aces Go Places 2 some credit. It starts off with a bang, okay? The opening 10 minutes are pretty awesome. <laughs> There's a lengthy, fun action scene involving robots, uh, of all things. Uh, there are little helicopter robots that fly inside of an apartment. Little Transformer-style robots that kind of, you know, assemble themselves into a bigger robot. And that robot proceeds to attempt to murder our protagonist. It's a, it's a slugfest, too. It's a good scene. And uh, after that, we get a good motorcycle chase that has some good, uh, impressive stunts that are shot in some wide angles. So, it's a pretty fun and crazy opening sequence to start this film. Uh, the middle section has a handful of short fights and chases, kind of like the first film, uh, one of which is a pretty good bicycle chase with our protagonist fleeing from a group of cops after he's framed for the robbery. Uh, I like the car stunts in this as well, you know, some of which are pretty good. Remember, this is, anytime I watch movies like this, it's like a breath of fresh air, you know, the days before CGI, you know, where it took like real talent and danger to pull off some of these stunts and car tricks and stuff. So it's, uh, it's fun to watch. There's a pretty good bar fight, and the film ends with an insane finale. And I won't tell you what it is, but it's, it's pretty nuts, and there's a bunch of explosions and good stuff in there. A lot of fun and a satisfying finish. Now, the comedy, I think, works about as well as its predecessor. Uh, if you've enjoyed the humor in that one, you'll probably enjoy the humor in this. Uh, there's a funny scene early on involving a guy who claims that he made Richard Nixon a superstar, but don't bring up Watergate to him ever again. Uh, and then he hires a guy that he calls Filthy Harry, and they get an actor who looks just like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> and this dude comes in, and he's like the hired hitman to take out our protagonist. Um, pretty entertaining and amusing scene with the bad guys early on in this. Uh, you know, Filthy Harry, the, the character, you kind of... I kind of wanted to see even more of him. He shows up a few times, but I wanted to see a little bit more from him, I think. But it was a pretty funny uh, uh, villain, I guess you could say. Something else I wanted more of was Yasuaki Karata. Yeah, he shows up in this movie, and I almost spit out my drink when he showed up. Um, he's billed as like the third or fourth, like the fourth character uh, actor in the film. And he does get a handful of dialogue scenes, but he never gets a great fight scene. And that was a disappointment, I think. You know, he was in his prime in the early 80s, like, in his prime. So not to feature him in a fight just seemed kind of weird. And that was kind of a problem. But he is very entertaining every time he shows up. And he does get a handful of scenes uh, of dialogue and some interplay with the, with the characters. Uh, another criticism I would make regarding this is that, you know, the pacing does drag a little bit uh, in the middle, uh, similar to kind of the first film. Especially when it focuses on kind of like the romance stuff. I mean, it never gets n near as bad as something like a Gorgeous, the Jackie Chan movie I reviewed just re recently. You know, they, they don't spend copious amounts of time on, on schmaltz uh, or anything like that. But they do spend a little bit too much time on it, in my opinion, in the middle. I think if they should have shortened some of those like dinner scenes and date scenes in the middle put in more Filthy Harry and Yasuaki Karata. <laughs> and that, that, that would have elevated the film a whole notch, I think. But, you know, not a huge uh, problem, but it's, it's a little one. 
But I do enjoy this film. I do like Aces Go Places too. You know, the robot scenes are fantastic. They're really cool. A lot of practical effects. And uh, some of the other supporting stuff is good. And, uh, you know, the, the actors do a good job being lively and fun. Most readily available in a five-disc Blu-ray box set uh, from Hong Kong. From DDD House or Yes Asia, you should be able to find it. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty much kind of on par with the first film, I think. So, as always, folks, I'll see you next time.